Hi, and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzel and Menti here. We are always live and local. Time to talk summertime and the shore, of course. So let's get ready with a little help from our friends. First, Sheila Straub, who's a vacation guru, the owner of Sunkissed Concierge. So uh, first, you live in Avalon. Sheila, let's talk about um, how the shore is doing because there are some people who perceive that maybe the shore is not ready. The, the shore is doing great. Uh, Memorial Day weekend was a wonderful success. The, the towns were bustling with people and, and families and enjoying the restaurants and retail establishments. We would have loved to have better weather, <laughs> but we um, enjoyed having the guests starting to come down to the shore again. And what about for those who, who haven't been down uh, the shore yet to their favorite shore? Everybody has their favorite shore point, but I mean, how are the beaches looking? The beaches look great. Um, we, we, well, Avalon and, and Stone Harbor had beach replenishment that was, that was planned and those are completed. And going out to the shore, the, the, the beaches are wide and, and they look great. Ocean, Ocean City. City as well. I was up there um, this past weekend. Sea Isle. Sea Isle. All looking the wild good. Ones, everybody's looking really good. I love the the, the new uh, the slogan that you know we are stronger than the storm. Right, the New Jersey Shore. I mean, it's a, it really is a great slogan. It is, and it's fun to see um, just the camaraderie and um, how we helped our neighbors to the north because um, they were hit yeah. obviously harder. a little bit harder than we were, and um, you know we all kind of came together um, in, in such a devastating situation. But it was. It was good to see how we are really stronger than the storm. Yeah, and I, and I believe that. I think it, it, it really galvanized uh, the people. Yeah. And not, not just the people who live at the shore and the businesses, but even the visitors, the, the shoebies, if you will, that, that yeah. you know, come down. I think everybody has this special feeling now um, after the storm. So do you think that um, there's a more of a perception issue that some people might think, oh, it's not ready because it's, so right now what you're dealing with, with is the perception, not yeah. the actuality that it's ready. Yeah, and um, the, the, the boroughs, the mayors of the boroughs and the towns, the shore towns, um, I'm sure many of your listeners have heard the commercials about getting the word out that the, that the shore is open, it's oh, ready yeah. to go. You know, the businesses were down in the boroughs that, that I'm close to, Avalon and Stone Harbor, because we had flooding. But within days, those restaurants were ready to go, and many establishments in the wintertime are closed. So we got a little bit of um, publicity that we were not ready, but in actuality, they were just closed for right. the, the winter months. And then some of the other restaurants and retail establishments took that time to make their stores and restaurants even better than they were before. So it's fun to see the stores, it's fun to see the people. Uh, we even have new retail and new restaurants that are in the, in the boroughs. Yeah, which is so great. We, we love the shore, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you, you live in Avalon, but yeah. it, it, there is something special about the shore. And of course we think of family, so it brings, yeah. it brings that family and all the memories and so on. So, okay, so you are the, the owner of Sunkissed Concierge. Yes. And what, so get us ready. First of all, stress-free vacations. Exactly. A vacation should not be stressful, but how do you make it, how do you de-stress? Well, Besides hiring you. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, you, you, you know, you spend this money on these beautiful homes that you're renting, and you, you have to prepare your families. You know, you're getting your home set at home so that you can come and enjoy the shore. And the business just came to be because as an a investment owner, um, shore property owner, I would come down on the weekends, and it would just be so stressful because I didn't know what, was, what I'd left there, what I needed to bring. And so I just started the business based on my needs as well as others who had talked to me about, I wish I had my sheets there. I wish I had my towels. So you can imagine packing your car to come to the shore. You need sheets, towels, you know, your linens. And we, we do the refrigerator. We can pack or stock your pantry, stock your fridge, beach chairs, beach towels, umbrellas, just the things that you need already set up at the home that you're going to be vacationing in when you get there. That, which sounds wonderful. Yeah. That sounds like a dream. Are you listening? <laughs> so um, what are the essentials to pack? I mean, go through when, when you're, because you always forget something, of right. course, which the shop owners appreciate. Right. <laughs> well, um, you certainly want to bring your books. Enjoy oh, the vacation time, relax on the beach, and let the local establishments, you know, have everything ready for you. Um, also, you might want to make reservations before you get down. 
for dinner. Yeah, that's well, not just for dinner, for certain children's activities. That's like there right. are some pirate ship tours and different fun things for the kids. Yeah. But they do book up in the summer. I have two, right. two little boys, six and nine. So those kinds of things, I, I think it, it's always good to check out and make right. sure that you get the, the reservations and all that good stuff. So what else? I mean, what else should people be thinking about? Well, um, most of the shore towns, you, you have to have a beach tag. Um, in Avalon and Stone Harbor, the, the beach tags are reciprocal. So if you're staying in Stone Harbor and you want to come to Avalon, that beach tag works. Um, if you buy a weekly, it's um, $12. A day pass is 6 And a season, if you're um, lucky enough to enjoy the whole summer, is 26 So you have to plan for that, and there are certain areas along the shore where you can pick those beach tags. Yeah, and the beach tags are like 9 to 5. You have to have it or something. It ends I think, yeah, 9 to 5, 10 to 5. So that's a good one. Yeah. So in your business, I imagine people, when they discover you, must be thrilled. I have relatives who, and they, they're grandparents, so they have the grandkids, yeah. and they have, all, they have to pack for this entire, literally a clan of people. Exactly. And so in essence, what you're saying is they don't have to do all that. They don't have to do all that. Brilliant. And um, I had a, a family actually that found me from California last year, and they they were come, they picked the shore in Avalon because it was a central place for everyone, not so central for the family in California, but they had people from um, uh, D.C. area, New York. They were coming in from California, and I had all their beds made, I had all the towels they needed, I stocked their pantry, did the fridge. And had I mean things you don't even think about. You need Ziploc bags. You need yeah. pa paper towels, paper, you know, <laughs> tissue, all those things. And if and you're flying, even if you're driving, you just can't get it all. Yeah. In the car. Oh, you're. I'm sure you're a dream for the so that mom can have a little relaxation exactly. too, right? Sheila, thank you so much. Thank you. You look great. You're all ready for a triathlon. I can yes, tell you work out, I am, right? I'm training for the the Tim Kerr in Avalon. Uh, we'll see you down the shore. Thanks. Thank you, Sheila. We'll be right back with more experts. Great advice. We're getting ready. It's summertime. Be right back here on The Dawn Show.